All right, kiddos. Now I'm gonna show you quick, cause I'm, I mean, I'm shot out. I mean, my back's killing me, my knees killing me. This is something I forgot to show y'all yesterday. Yes, I gotta oil it, but this I traded my vice for this one. It spins. Well, if I can get it to move, All right? It rotates. It's got the, the pipe jaws down there. It's just a bad dude, man. Look at that. I forgot to show you that, but here's that chain. Expanded metal. There's the sledgehammer and the axe. I got this stuff out on the table. I got to get inside. There is the uh, pullers I was telling you about. C clamps. You know, putty knives and pliers, and just check this out. Aluminum ruler. Yeah, I felt so bad for him. This is a gear reduction bike, like I told you. Come on, wait till you see this. I got the other uh, press in the trailer along with all the other stuff. <laughs> and there's stuff piled up in the bucket. I mean, when I get it all out, I'll show it to you again. This box right here, this little cabinet is full of about $5,000 worth of lathe tools. But look at that. It's in there, laying down. That's a wash thing. It's got jet. See the nozzles in there, and it had it to where it, it cleaned parts. There's the pump, the filter system, and the motor port. There's the motor system for the uh, the press. Of course, you know I'll change it. And. Uh, Hang on. That bucket is slammed full of tools and stuff. See, you see them things down underneath that leg? Those are little dolly things that you put one under each wheel of your car and you can push it anywhere on concrete you want to. That's what we use to get this thing up on this trailer, buddy. And this is a little pump. See that diaphragm there? What I'm thinking it's a diaphragm pump, so what I'm thinking about doing is change that motor to a 12 volt motor. And maybe get me a little bigger expansion tank for it. And see if I can't jury rig me a, a hooker rig for going down in the keys and getting uh, lobsters and stuff. But I got, oops, sorry guys. Dies and stuff that go to my press in there that do different things. I, I just I, when I use them, I'll explain it. Uh, let me step over the truck here. You're gonna get, oh, hang on. There's a motor up there. I think it's a three. I think it's a three. It's either a two or a three horse. And there's an the old dolly he gave me. That's one of the old old ones. Hold on. Oh, I can't hardly bend my knees. I'm so sore I'm dying. Uh. Some jack stands. More C clamps than they mean. <laughs> I mean, all kinds of stuff. Tools and commons and hammers. And see all them bars? Those are solid round bars of steel and one square stock. I mean, holy shit. Batman. <laughs> That's thought I'd give y'all a quick look. Sorry I keep driving. I got it hanging on my bad hand finger and it just when I turn it loose it flops down so I can you know show you something else. That big old pillow block type bearing there. But that's the underneath of the table of the press. I mean, it's just. And this is that fire press fiberboard they use in panels, you know, like electrical panels. And that's a uh, three by three square 
might be three and a half. That thing weighs about, oh shit, 75 pounds. That's all I could do to carry it out. But he was going to throw it away. He had made a table out of it. See the uh, mounts? But that's too heavy for a table. That'd be good for something else. I'll figure it out. But yeah, I couldn't let him throw it away. And I still got a big a box that goes on the back of a a truck, like a big ice cream truck or something, that type of van truck. It's uh, 20 foot by 8 foot by, I think it's 6 and a half or 7 foot tall that I got to get here. It has no wheels under or nothing. I got to figure out, I got to get some kind of flatbed to, to uh, uh, get it here. But... That's four, uh, let's see, 1735, oh shit, horse and a half, three phase, I thought he told me it was three horse, son of a bitch, anybody got a three, need a three phase horse and a half motor, but anyway, that's it, but yeah, look at my, my vice. She's a nice one. I got one bolt holding it because the pattern is bigger than my other one. Same exact place, but just bigger. You know, same exact uh, layout, but uh, another half inch wider pattern. 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 So, alright guys, I'm going to let you go so I can get all this stuff inside. It's about to rain, as you can see. And, uh, it rained here yesterday afternoon, that's why that's got rust on it. Because before I could oil it, it put two inches of rain down here in the span of about 30 minutes. So, it was doing it. And lightning to beat all kinds of heck. Oh, and I got another, I think I showed you that, another one of these. If I keep it, God dang! Look at that. God damn dirt, excuse my language, it filled it up. And they're working on that end of it. Son of a bitches. Yeah, he's working on this one. Look down there. I don't know if you let's see. Gotta figure out a way to turn it where you they're working on filling that one up. Holy crap. They fill up the the, the daggum holes in my uh, electrical thing. The little ground holes, they fill every one of them up. The pain in the butt. So Alright guys, I'll get with you, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it, man. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this stuff, okay? If I can't get that box here, I might have to rent a, a storage thing until I do. I mean, dude, my shop is full, you know? I, I'm just going to have to pile these clamps and stuff up in the floor in there, so uh, I'll let you know. <laughs> See ya.